If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Gatling series. In this episode 6, we are going to learn about assertions in Gatling. Assertion helps you to verify the global statistics. For example, if you want to verify the response time or uh, requests per second or failed requests, then you have to define the assertions inside the setup population. In last video, we have seen about uh, checks. Now you may ask what is the difference between checks and assertions. Checks primarily executes during the simulation. So during your test execution, checks proactively verifies actual versus expected. But assertions, it will get executed after the simulation gets complete. There is a domain specific language for assertions where you can define the scope. You can select which statistics you want to add and metrics and you have to define the condition. So this is the uh, scope for the assertion. We have three different types of scopes. One is global, which will check for all the requests. For all method, it will check for the individual requests. If you want to check for a group or a request by name, you can use the details. So these are the three different types of scope you can define in Gatling. We are going to see it with an example. So here we are defining the uh, assertions for the uh, setup uh, my scenario and it will inject the uh, three uh, virtual users. So here we are creating the requests for the online boutique and there are four different types of assertions I have added. First one is the global assertion which will check for all the requests, the percentile uh, 95th percentile of uh, uh, response time which should be less than thousand milliseconds. The second assertion, it will check for the individual requests. The maximum response time should not exceed 1500. And the third assertion, again, it's for global, where it will check for the failed requests percentage should be less than 0.01 percentage. And the last assertion, it will check for the group online boutique of mean response time, which should be less than 800 milliseconds. So these are four different types of assertions uh, I have mentioned in this demo. Now let us see how you can generate the reports. So once you successfully executed the simulation and assertions will validate your uh, metrics and then it will create uh, two different types of reports. One, it will create the JSON payload and then it will create the uh, J unit in XML. So J unit, you can use it in your CICD pipeline and JSON, you can use it for your uh, automation or to generate uh, in from the HTML report. By default, Gatling will give you the intuitive uh, HTML report. Now let us see a quick demo how you can embed the assertions in a simple example. So as usual, we are going to launch onlineboutique.dev and here I have made some uh, changes when compared to the previous uh, video. In line number 14, I am introducing a concept called group which we are going to deep dive in the upcoming videos. So here we have two requests. One is line number 15 has T00 underscore home, which will launch the home page. And line number 20 has the T10 underscore product page, which will launch the a simple uh, product page. And line number 17, we have a check. And line number 22 also, we have a check. So we have two checks for two requests. And then we are pausing for three seconds. But in the setup population, we are injecting uh, three virtual users. And line number 31 to 34, we are defining four assertions. So as mentioned earlier, we are already seen about global, which will check for all the requests, the percentile three. So percentile three here stands for 95th percentile, which is already built in by Gatling. And if you want to add the 99th percentile, you can go for percentile four. Percentile two, I guess it's for 75, percentile one for 50 percentile. And if you want to mention uh, your own uh, custom value, of course, you can define it. And line number 32, it will check for the maximum response time for the individual request, which should not exceed 1500 milliseconds. And line number 33, it will check for the failed requests uh, for all the individual requests should not exceed 0 0.01. And line number 34, we are mentioning the details. So here the details is online boutique. And if you go to line number 14, we have a group called online boutique. So it will check for the whole group. This group consists of two requests. One is T00 underscore home and T10 underscore product page. So this is the purpose of details. If you want to group together, you can use the uh, 
uh, details uh, for the in the assertions so now to execute as you know we have to add the uh, gatling run task uh, hyphen the package name dot the class name now if you hit enter this will execute the sim uh, the uh, script and it will simulate the uh, workload model as per the definition and then it will generate the html report now let us wait for this execution to be completed then we can go through the html report so now the execution has been completed and if you just copy this particular uh, index.html uh, full path and open it in your uh, favorite browser this will open the html report so here in the uh, left side you can see active users request per second response per second so those thing uh, by typically it will uh, display in upcoming videos we are going to deep dive into this html report but now just to understand the grouping so what you can do is if you scroll down and if you expand the uh, statistics here and if you just expand this particular uh, entity online boutique you can see two transactions and here you can verify the 95th percentile mean uh, standard deviation and everything and here also you can see a dedicated section for the assertions so here it will display the uh, assertion uh, the simple description about the assertion and it will give you the status uh, okay or not okay and if you go to details and uh, in the left side if you expand this particular section here also you can see your two requests one is uh, home and the product page and if you click on the respective uh, transaction you can see the statistics and again if you want to dive into product page you can just click and then it will display the intuitive report so this is how uh, html uh, report in gatling works now let us see how you can uh, uh, view the j unit the xml file so you need, you need to go to the uh, exact folder and uh, hit enter so this will launch the uh, reports so by default whenever you execute it will create the uh, reports folder and inside the gatling you can see uh, all the executions now let us uh, go with the latest uh, uh, report here and if you go inside this folder you can see there are folders uh, js and style and if you go inside the js folder here you can see the xml file assertions.xml now if you open it in your uh, favorite editor you can see the assertions.xml so this xml you can use it for your cicd pipeline similarly you can also use this uh, the json format if you want to do some kind of automation so if you just right click and open the uh, json format here also you can see your assertion and its details so this is how you can generate to two different types of reports by adding the assertions to your gatling simulation i hope this video is pretty useful please let me know if you have any questions and please join academy.qnsets.com for more such courses thank you for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to QA Insights channel.